hard enough for a black cat and that cat Yo, birds and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh, baby's hella bad After her, there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run? <laughs> hey you hello and welcome to my channel if you're new to this channel my name is emma crazy and i'm happy to have you here do well to like comment and subscribe if you love this content stay tuned grab your popcorn and let's get started <music> Okay, so I'm super excited to take you guys with me to explore and share my experience of the ever beautiful and unique region of Ghana, which also happens to be my favorite region, and that is of course the western part of Ghana. The western part of Ghana has been unexplored, especially because the people there are very resistant to foreign domination. Apart from that, the people of the western region are very mysterious. We don't hear so much about them. <laughs> However, in today's video, we are going to be exposed to some of these places and some of the people and the food and all of that good stuff, okay? Okay, so there are a few places in the western region, but I thought it would be logical to start from Elubo border. The Elubo border is a town right on the edge of where Ghana meets Cote d'Ivoire. My co-producer stated that when he first visited Elubo, it was a very small developing settlement. But now Elubo is so developed and it's such a busy town, especially due to the international highway, which I'll be showing you in the next clip. Okay, so that was a short clip of the Elubo International Border. Of course, I wasn't allowed to take any videos. I was just allowed to take a short clip due to, due to um, security reasons, yes. But because of the international border, Elubo has now become a very busy town because travelers from countries such as Niger, Mali, Liberia, and Feda travelers usually transit or they stop at Elubo. And because of that, it has now become a hub for commerce trade and transport and all of that good stuff. So Elubo is such a business town. It's such a busy town. Everybody's trying to make money at Elubo. So yeah, if you're looking for business opportunities, you know you should actually consider going to Lubo to see some of their business opportunities out there right. moving on so this is a Tano river which is used in place of fencing or as a natural barrier so the Tano river is the largest behind volta pra and ancora it's unfortunate this river has been highly polluted by illegal miners and their greedy counterparts who were not conscious during their quest for money Hopefully they've learned their lessons so that we wouldn't be damaging a lot more rivers in Ghana. So my co-producer stated that when he visited the tunnel, he observed children swimming to and fro from the Ghana and the Cote d'Ivoire border. Of course, they didn't know what they were doing. They didn't know they were illegally crossing the border. They were just kids having fun. I guess that's what happens when you're a child, right? So the area is still surrounded by heavily forest areas and they have been occasions where elephants have strayed into the town of Elubo. So now moving on to the food over there. On the street, you get roasted meat. They have so many varieties. You get gizzard, you get chicken, you get goats, you get cow. You know, you also find fufu on the streets, like people pound fufu on the streets. We also got some achake. They also have fried yam, you get rice, you get indomie, you know, all these typical Ghanaian dishes you get them over there right unfortunately i couldn't i couldn't really tour the market i think i went too early because as of the time i got there they had not set up and everything and when i think when they were actually setting up i was just about to leave so I, as you can tell like they were not really set up their tables were all turned over people were not really in the market it sucks but i still experienced it i just didn't record the video when i was experiencing it when i was ready to experience when i was ready to take the video it was already too late <laughs> but this is how the market looks like you know it's 
A lubo is a manifest expression of the industriousness of Africans, West Africans, Ghanaians, and most significantly, the Enzima people. In a relatively short space of time, Enzimas have transformed this town into a commercial hub. Enzimas have a lot to offer, period. It is today at the epicenter of Ghana's offshore oil and gas industry. It produces coconuts and coconut oil. Enzimas also have rubber and oil palm plantations. Gold has also been a feature of the Enzimas, and being a coastal area, it also produces fish, shellfish, sea transport, and of course, has one of the best coastlines in the whole of Ghana. Also, the neatest coastline in the whole of Ghana. So, thank you so much for joining, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.